So we'll start with the fundamentals for 10th cup. Sitting stance, Anansogi, front punch, Apjirugi. And notice the knee spring, the down up, down movement. The punch is ready to punch at the highest point. The body goes down up and at the up phase, the punch is ready. And then we twist and accelerate into the punch on the way down. Next we have walking stance, Gunansogi and front punch, Apjirugi. Uh, a great way to practice these fundamentals, first of all, is on the spot. One forwards, and then come back to chumbi position, and then the other leg, come forwards. Okay, and once you've done that a few times, then you can do a few forwards and a few backwards. The punch is in the centre line. We still spring, there's still a, a kind of a small down-up-down down movement. That's our knee spring as we spring the body into action. Down-up, down. Down-up. Down down okay that's the knee spring and the hands and the feet and the breath all finishing together so moving on to low block full name is outer forearm low block back at power block Najandi Maki we get ready for this block by crossing the hands at about chest height the blocking hand is always on top and when the wrists cross they are back to back so blocking hand on top, back to back, and then they twist into action. Reaction hand to the belt, blocking hand down towards the knee. And now forwards and backwards. Nice and sharp acceleration. Look at that one there, the blocking hand on top. Nice and sharp end. I'm gonna put the sound back so you can hear the breath. Sharp breath, sharp breath. Nice and fast acceleration at the end. So moving on to rising block, full name outer forearm rising block back at Palmok Chukyomaki, learnt by the junior grade ones and the adult 10th cup. And it starts exactly the same as the low block, the blocking arm on top you can see there from the top and it twists up above the head. Nice and sharp movement at the end to defend against a downward strike to the head or perhaps a punch to the face. So next is the middle block, full name inner forearm middle block and Palmok Kaunde Maki, learnt by the junior grade twos, the orange stripes, and by the adult tent cup. See how the arms cross differently than for low block and rising block. The blocking arm is underneath and both hands are palm down, crossing still at about chest height and swinging the blocking arm across the body. Now forwards and backwards, let's see a few here. Blocking arm underneath, hands are palms down, and then they twist into the block at the end. Both hands twist, action and reaction, both twist. And now on to reverse punch, or full name middle reverse punch, Kaunde Bande Jirugi. A reverse punch in walking stance is when you have the left leg forwards, but you punch with the right hand and vice versa. It's called a reverse punch. In slow motion from the middle block, knee spring, using the back knee to drop the body slightly and spring up and drop down. Down up, down punch. The knee spring is very fast. It's not, very, not mechanical. It's not down, up, down punch. It's nice and springy. Down up, down punch. On the spot again. Nice springing action. Use the back knee to spring up and down. Now let's see a few forwards and back. When we go forwards and back in combination, notice that the hand that was doing the middle punch, so right now the right hand, that's the one that becomes the blocking hand on the next combination. Blocking hand is the one that was punching. The punch becomes the block. And now the basic exercise, Sajo Jirugi, which has seven movements in each direction, but the first two are the most important. The first one was the step forwards. The second one is turn and step back. Let's see those again now. So we go forwards. And when we turn and step back, watch in slow motion, we maintain one shoulder width wide as we turn so that we have our balance. We step forwards, turn and step back. 
forwards. So the right foot moved every single time in the first half. Now the second half, left foot forwards, turn and step back, maintaining the shoulder width wide, forwards. And as we turn and step back, you can see between the legs, there's one shoulder width, forwards, turn and step back. And that's the second half, seven steps with the left leg. And now Sadhadrugi with hands as well as feet. Forwards and punch, turn and low block. Forwards and punch, turn and low block, and so on. The orange stripes, junior grade twos, would be tested on this in their grading. And the older 10th cup, so that's roughly speaking, people that are nine or 10 years and over, all the way up to adults. They would be white belts 10th cup and they would do this exercise. But the juniors who are under nine, they would be orange stripes when they did this full exercise. Thank <laughs> you.